Hello, my name is Eli Nangio. I am the engineering director at Seekins Precision. Seekins Precision is a premier firearms manufacturer. We've been around for 20 years, but the last four have definitely been super aggressive as far as growth has been. And a lot of that has been due to the automation that we've done and production levels we've been able to achieve with robotics, robotic automation with our machine shop. When we brought Lights Out in to help us integrate robotics, we were actually able to uh, just have one shift. So we've got one day shift. We don't have a weekend shift anymore, no night shift. Currently, we are sitting at 25 robot-fed machines. Typical day is 10 hours on duty with the operators here to kind of monitor the machines, but we shoot for 10 hours off duty with those machines as well. One of the stigmas with automation is your employees are gonna lose jobs. The biggest thing I hear from operators anymore is if we have prototyping or some sort of job that's not automated, you know, not robot fed, uh, they wanna know when that's gonna happen. For us, automation has just been, you know, it, it's been huge. And for anybody out there that is is wondering, you know, what what's it take to get into it? Well, it either takes a lot of money or you have to have the right partners. So Lights Out Manufacturing was the right partners for us. Previous, before them, we tried to do it ourselves. We bought a couple of robots. They sat on our floor for four years. Uh, so it was just a big waste of money. Uh, we did not dedicate the time and resources to getting those robots going. Um, we didn't have anybody on staff that was qualified for that. The, our first uh, test run with Lights Out was uh, four robots that went on four different machines. And you know, that was two and a half years ago. And from that, we've, we've, we've grown a long ways. So. The other thing with Lights Out that I really like compared to a lot of the other integrators that I've uh, seen or talked to is they definitely want to help train you on how to utilize the robotic system. We actually do 90% of our own integration now. So we rely on Lights Out for a portion of our integration, but not what they used to do because we actually now have the staffing to be able to do it ourselves. Uh, and a lot of those integrators, the biggest cost is, is just their time. And if they're not willing to teach you how to actually utilize the robots correctly, then you're gonna keep incurring that cost over and over. It, it definitely, it, there wasn't a, a big lag time, you know, from. From the time we contacted them, we decided we wanted to do it. You know, they sent us some quotes on what, what it cost and we pulled the trigger. Our production went from 80% spindle time to 95% spindle time on duty. So the amount of production we gained on duty was actually the biggest eye opener for us. My teams, the, the changes that we've had, um, we, we have to think about setting up production a little differently about you know, instead of somebody hand loading this and knowing that the part is loaded incorrectly, how do we make it easy for a robot to hand load, you know, to load a part automated and make sure it happens the same way every time? It's not that different from what we were doing before, but it is, it is something you have to think about because the robot's gonna do what you tell it every time. So if, if you don't have a good plan for how that's gonna happen uh, from the get-go, it, it's going to be a little tougher on your on yourself. Support is huge. Uh, you know we don't we don't like having partnerships with uh, vendors that don't support us, so we don't typically do it. And the support with Lights Out has been amazing. Uh, we've had a few little issues with the robots. Um, anytime there is an issue, the support is very quick. Uh, most of the support is just over the phone or with an email. If you've got a question on how to program something with a robot, the guys at Lights Out are extremely smart with that and they, they're very helpful as far as being able to teach somebody that doesn't know what they're doing how to do it, which is, you know, that can be half the battle. So yeah, support's been, has been one of the biggest reasons why we've stuck with Lights Out. The coworkers, um, at this point, they love them. Uh, if we told the coworkers, that, that we were taking the robots away, they wouldn't be very happy. So turning machine shops into automation pros, uh, we would be a great example of that. 
And we went from not knowing how to integrate the robots ourselves to now we do, uh, I think we're on number five or six that we've integrated ourselves. So I don't know, there's always something to learn and uh, we're always learning new ways to do things. One of the things that we have noticed, uh, we just got back from IMTS. Uh, I thought, you know, this is gonna be awesome because the automation part of IMTS is just massive. So the things I can learn is just gonna be huge. Well, I'll tell you what, we saw a lot at IMTS and Lights Out Manufacturing may have had one of the smallest booths there, but they had the most people that were engaged in watching what was happening because most automation, most integrators out there, your cell, when they're done integrating it for you, is twice or three times as big as your machine is. And that's just, I mean, the floor space loss is huge. It adds up. I mean, if we had 25 of those type of cells, we'd need two more buildings. Uh, so being able to integrate it smartly and not, util not utilize a massive amount of space just makes the most sense for us. If you can get a project done in a matter of hours versus a matter of months, that's just huge. The way that Lights Out has, has shown us to program the robots, to integrate the robots, uh, there's just so many ways you can do it that it's, you know, the sky's the limit. Use your imagination. If you think it's possible, you can probably make it happen. So if you don't know how to do it, you can definitely send uh, the guys at Lights Out the question of how would you do it? And they will give you a lot of suggestions. The best time to start is now. And uh, if, if you're looking for somebody to use as an integrator, Lights Out is has been has been the one that we would suggest.